A lot of times me and John is the only people here super early in the yeah, morning. So we do this. We'll yeah, we'll have our <laughs> sessions in the morning time where nice. we're like bouncing stuff off each other. So That's cool. yeah, things are always, you know, yeah. being th tossed around. Yeah. Well, even when we came out with this beer, Jamie did a night of uh, brisket sushi, Ugh. which is really cool. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah. Brisket sushi? Yeah. yeah, we got kind of crazy that night. Yeah. Located right smack in the middle of the East Coast, Norfolk, Virginia has over 600 independent restaurants, breweries, and distilleries. And I'm gonna try to try them all. You can call me Namarama, and you can call Norfolk the city with bite. So we're here, East Ocean View. I got my two friends here, Jamie, the pit master of Bark or Bark U and my friend John, the head brewer of Gold Mariner. What's going on, you guys? What's up, bud? Thanks for having me, first and foremost. Yeah, thanks for coming The space is beautiful. This is actually my first time in this new location. Pulling up, I saw there's like an access point to the water right here. And when you think of Norfolk, people don't typically think of a beach in Norfolk. Pretty cool aspect of our location. With the wraparound porches, you can go on the porch and actually view part of the beach from the porch. I love outdoor drinking, day drinking. Perfect spot for that. I think it works out pretty well. We've yeah. actually had a wedding yeah. held on the beach and then a reception part yeah. held here Dope. in our event space upstairs. Yeah. It's been really cool because everyone out here needed a place to go that was like their own and not have to drive to the other side of town. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. They can get beers here. And yeah. Take them to go. We got beers to go. Yeah. I mean, this hot, hot summer Barbecue day. Barbecue to go. Yeah. <laughs> I've had conversations with locals that, mm -hmm. you know, thanked us for coming here or being here. I'm like, you're thanking me. I'm right. just happy I'm here, right. period. Let's talk about our beverages here. What do we have in front of us right now? Jamie and I are drinking Lucky Cat. Lucky Cat. It's uh, one of my favorite beers right now. It's a Japanese style Pilsner. Yeah. We uh, cook in-house and add a ton of sushi rice to the sushi beer. Sushi rice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, not like with all the extra stuff in there, just like medium yeah. grain Japanese rice. Why, uh, why the sushi rice? just to give it a really nice creaminess okay. texture to it. And we're doing everything from these really light lagers that are super drinkable to hazy IPAs, do a ton of sour uh, yeah. variants with a lot of fruit, and I uh, got a ton of dark beers on right now. Yeah. So the Frogman lager that you were talking about, you donate a portion of the proceeds to an organization? Yeah, so for from the sales of Frogman, we donate some money back to the UDT Steel Association. Yeah. The whole beer was based off of just being able to give back to them. Yeah, yeah. You know, we came up with the name and the idea before we even had a beer to go in the glass. You guys went into building the space. Did you know Jamie was coming with you? Did you guys already talk about putting Bark in here? Yeah. Funny story is Bold Mariner was actually the very first brewery to ever that we've ever done it. Oh, I didn't know that. Word. So I didn't know that. From that point on, there was a special bond just because, yeah. you know, we felt like that opportunity was extremely special. So even on days we had other pop-ups, if they if a food truck or something fell for yeah. the packs, we would actually try to double book yeah, just to make sure. Oh, that's cool. So I've been looking forward to the opportunity just to settle down. You know, yeah. we've done pop-ups for a long time. So with us coming here, we actually had time to kind of hone in some of our yeah. processes and actually started experimenting with recipes and there's a million things that may go on in my mind that we have not put out yet <laughs> right i'm struggling with You're that. A creative like, i really person. want to put that out but um i really feel like we've come a long way from where we were doing pop-ups to where we are right now talking about barbecue signature dish yes what you got jamie um we have our smack and beef and i'm pretty sure it's ready wait uh, wait wait smack and who smack and beef smack and beef yeah toasted brioche bun yeah. um our our chopped brisket mac and cheese, um, our candy barbecue sauce with jalapenos with a spicy pickle on top. So it is a wide range of um, flavors. How do you tackle this thing, Jay? You, you <laughs> always, it's one that's, two hands are mandatory and napkins are mandatory, so. It's got some weight to it. Yeah. It's like almost a pound and a half, dude. <laughs> Y'all seeing this thing? Here we go. <laughs> Man, this is delicious. Yo! Coming up on the city with bite. We head to Norfolk's military highway and talk Indian street food with Tamron. You know, it's mom and pop when people say, really is my mom cooking. Yeah, yeah. All the food that comes out, it's really made by yeah. her with her hands. Coming soon on the city with bite.